Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notification bells are turned on so that you know every single time I post a new video. So I was awakened by a dream that I had of whispers of the word bear bear womb okay and when i looked it up it's called bared womb or something like that i was i was terrified i woke up after the third whisper of it now i don't really dream as often but and I don't remember the details of this dream, but I heard the word whisper to me three times. I feel like y'all are under spiritual attack or somebody's sending the, a, a spirit of, of darkness on your womb for you not to be able to conceive or for you to take longer than usual to make a decision to become a mother or um, to have more children. Somebody needs to do a spiritual cleanse or some sort of um, bath or something like that because the enemy is ready to attack okay before I do this reading I did pray and I don't know who's going through this but somebody is definitely doing some sort of spiritual ritual or um, I heard talent somebody thinks that they're a talented um, witch to do this anyway I'm going to go into the reading with my metaphysical deck. I haven't pulled from it in a while. So I just want to let y'all know 556 in the morning. I don't know who this is going to be significant for, but that was completely scary. Okay. Like I said, I don't usually dream. It's really rare that I dream. And when I do, I usually don't have dreams like this. So somebody's under spiritual attack. And I also cleanse my energy so that whoever is going through this, it doesn't attack me. But I felt like I had to tell y'all this. Okay. Whoever this is, they are jealous of your uh, lineage or your legacy or the initiate energy to create a legacy. Let's see what's going on. Look, look. Look what's coming out. Look what's coming out. We have star seed. There's something about your DNA. I'm telling you, karma. You're getting good karma that a, a, a witch or somebody that's using heavy spell work or potions wants. Because whatever this karma is, it's you having the ability to manifest. And there's some sort of confirmation that you're getting from spirit here. I'm telling you. Look, you are the star seed that this person wishes that they were. I can't make this up. Somebody is attacking your womb so that you won't be able to create. You won't you won't be somebody that can hold the child whether you're masculine or feminine. Okay? Somebody is using spell work for you to be in a negative mindset. So be careful what you speak on about others as well as yourself because somebody is using that negative energy to conjure up um, womb spells, okay? Look, it's already happened. Gratitude Rampage Express will carry out the vision for you to work with other higher dimensional beings. Somebody's trying to stop you from manifesting or accomplishing something because of your confirmation that you're getting. Idajo, witch, and Yamoja is coming out. It's so funny how what I am speaking on comes out in the read right away as I shuffle the cards. As I said, I haven't used these cards in a long time. Let's see here. Tell me more. Message for Virgo. You're, you have some level of high potency 
that if you speak on something, it will happen just like that. Okay. Message for Virgo. So you can't go back to yesterday is showing up. The number 44 could be significant. Be in the present here. Okay, so I feel like y'all need to stop focusing on what may have happened or how it has happened. You can't change whatever has been done before, but you know how you should move forward or what you need to prepare for. We have resilience, rise above tribulations. Okay, because th there's an opportunity that's going to have you um, in a space where you become the leader. People are taking up after you what you are able to help them learn or succeed at. I heard spiritual professor, okay? You have some knowledge that can be spat out to teach a nation, okay? And somebody wants you to undergo some sort of like fall from, from whatever this is. There is something that's building momentum or, or is um, allowing you to change. And somebody is investigating you spiritually. Anyway, let's see what the messages are for Virgo. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is like chaos, disastrous energy. Somebody here that may be getting bad karma. Okay, somebody um, may be not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel for a change. Somebody here could be going through a, a, a completion of a cycle with the results being bad karma. Scorpio, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, as well as the Leo. Somebody's getting bad karma or somebody here could be getting bad karma because of a... A situation that you might have had with the signs that I've named. Okay. Why is this wheel of fortune here? Why is this wheel of fortune here? Somebody is delaying some sort of changes that you're supposed to go through because they want you to take on some sort of bad karma. Somebody could be wanting you to take on their karma or there's bad karma due to something that may have been done in the recent past. Somebody here could have uh, been guilty of some sort of possession of something. Somebody could have had um, done some fraudulent things or somebody could have got you into something that you had no business going into. Okay. Somebody here is blocking your ability to have security, stability, um, or the ability to manifest. Whoever this person is, it could be a Taurus, heavy Taurus, somebody that has two placements in their chart of Taurus here. Somebody here could be cloaking as a masculine or feminine. Somebody has you up at night because they were able to tap into the energy through divination. I heard skipped galaxies. Somebody is um, mimicking a certain type of energy or cloaked profile to skip galaxies, to, to um, connect with you or something, to get something that's long term or whatever the case may be. This is really weird. OK, somebody has learned to do this. I'm telling you. Remember I was talking about you uh, teaching people? Be careful of the people that are asking for you to do readings for them because this person is a, is a karmic and this individual is grateful for the power that you hold to be able to manifest. This is confirmation for somebody here, okay? What's the six of pentacles in reverse? to the wheel of fortune in reverse, okay? The six of cups is in reverse. Somebody feels like whatever it is that they may have gone through or are going through currently, they're stuck in the past because of it. 
and they lack building friendships, connections, or any sorts of relationship that will allow them to mature. Yeah, somebody is looking for a change and they feel like they could do this through learning something from you for bad uh, intentions, okay? Somebody is trying to kill your legacy to take your space in being able to manifest or create here. This is some dark shit, okay? We have the seven of uh, cups in the cross position. So somebody made a choice to take on some sort of opportunity that you have been dreaming or thinking about through wishful thoughts. Yeah, somebody is searching for a purpose through you, but it seems like somebody's gonna be dropped down on their head to reality. I feel like you're even taking on some type of energy. Check this out. So remember I told you about the dream that I heard this morning. I also felt symptoms of my heart racing. Okay. I'm a coffee drinker, cappuccino actually. And I haven't had that in the last two days, but I feel like I'm taking on some sort of energy from somebody else that makes my heart race. Somebody is, is, is like, you know, sending me some type of energy or I'm, I'm picking up on an energy of, of anxiety or withdrawals. Somebody is going through withdrawals in their life because they're a low vibing masculine or feminine. This could be a Leo here or an Aries. Somebody that could be a fire sign. Somebody is insecure and is doubting themselves that they're going to be able to have structure in their life. Um, pertaining to their family or the family that they create here. Okay. Somebody is definitely apologetic. It, it seems like they're apologetic for some sort of destructive pattern, um, a habit that they have or some sort of anger. Okay. Somebody was angry that you, you are able to pick up what's going on in their life. And whatever it is that you're picking up on that you see right through them with, it's like they feel like they fail because they resisted to some sort of changes that they were supposed to apply to their life. All right. We have imbalance, two of pentacles and the knight of cups. So there's definitely some sort of chaos that somebody's going through. This, this this is like spiritual warfare chaos, okay? Somebody felt like something was very unrealistic and tried to avoid conflict through dealing with, with um, multiple people instead of telling the truth here. I feel like somebody here is going to pick up on some sort of new opportunity, which will be your justice. Your justice will be the root chakra to the heart chakra. This is why somebody's binding your womb, because not only does your womb bring fertility, it allows you to comply with what God wants you to comply with. But they want it too. They want in. They want to partner up with you. The number three could be significant here. Somebody wants you to take on their bad karma because they know that you are a high priestess, that you can combat this energy. Yeah, look, they need your help. And they're using your energetic force to do, to, to get rid of this, to switch places with you. You can't go back to yesterday, be in the moment. With this dolphin card, there is some sort of financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past, okay? But I feel like there's some level of attachment to somebody, someone, somewhere, or whatever brings sentiment that's attaching to this um, upheaval in your life, this acceptance of some sort of finances that somebody is trying to claim by the month of September here, you need to cut this person off. Somebody needs to cut off this person here. Somebody is a fake flexor. This is what they do. They go around fake flexing. Somebody's fake flexing some sort of like physical change that they want or that they're coming into. 
somebody feels like whatever it is that they're doing, it's warranted. Somebody feels like they have the right to know what it is that you're up to or what's going on in your life or vice versa. Or somebody feels like you could be fake flexing. Somebody is not as bougie as they think or somebody is bougie. Hmm. Somebody's going to be um, having to leave some sort of lifestyle behind or somebody is going to be deported back to their country. Somebody could be illegal in the country or don't have their papers. Yeah, somebody has a somebody may have used a fake account or passport to get into the country or may have hidden their true identity. Yeah, somebody's hiding their true identity by using a different name or a falseness of identification. So they won't be able to be found. OK, I heard the word detective or detectable. Something will be detectable here. Okay, so I feel like there's something better for you, but you don't believe this. And it's like your heart is telling you that you may not want to choose a new direction, but it's it's something that is mandatory. You just have to trust the process in which spirit is saying to add assertiveness to this situation or to work around every possible angle. For a, a good outcome here. Message. Somebody is using a spiritual practitioner or a witch of some kind to keep up on the times where you have a level of potency that they could use to their advantage to start some sort of manifestation energy through your womb or whatever this is here, okay? There's definitely negative energy or toxicity attached to um, them being manipulative. Somebody is sending you toxic manipulative energy to manipulate your energy, but this, this is somebody that is not even near uh, competitive to you. This person doesn't, shouldn't be competing where they don't compare. You don't see this person as competition or somebody's dropping multiple options to focus on toxicity or bringing this. This is a false twin. Okay, so this card flew out. We have heartbreak. Somebody is is not heart, as heartbroken as they might have seen in the beginning. Yeah, but I feel like you're keeping yourself busy so that you won't miss this person because this person is wasting time here. Okay, so it looks like somebody's attempting to get themselves into trouble or doesn't care that um, the consequences might lead to some sort of trouble here. OK, this could be with a with a third party. Or a secret lover. Somebody has a love child that they might have not told you about, or there's some sort of endangered energy to a child here. What's this police station and same shit different day? Okay, so this fell on the love child. Somebody is not wanting to assume responsibility for a connection to a child. The number 15 could be significant. This child could have issues. Somebody is definitely regaining some sort of power over their life or the freedom to do what it, whatever this is that they want to do. I keep looking at the word emancipated. Somebody here could be a 15 year old or have a 15 year old love child that wants to be emancipated to be able to make their own decision. Somebody wants freedom. 
somebody feels like they're in danger by their own parents, um, their siblings, or the people that claim to love and care about them, when somebody here is just wanting to be in a person's energy because of what they can get from you financially or how much they feel like you're worth. Yeah. Somebody knows a person to be the nine of pentacles to the empress here. And somebody is, is using you to create a, a level of stability with a king of wands or is trying to mold this king of wands to, to have financial security here. Okay. Somebody wants to be taken care of. What's this love child here? Why is love child here? Love child is bringing this death card. Capricorn, Scorpio is significant. In the middle of the deck, we have the nine of wands to the two of pentacles. So somebody is juggling something or somebody is stressed out because they know they have to make a decision, a sound decision and not have both ideas on their mind. They have to be sure about the direction that they're going in because it relies on this judgment that's going on. Somebody is resisting some sort of change or seems to be stagnant to this new beginning that, that they want. Somebody is afraid to move on because they feel like this person is petty or they're going to send negativity th this person's way or your way, whatever this is. And somebody's trying to find a, a medium or a balance, something that's like brings equilibrium energy. I feel like somebody may have given up um, trying to have balance with someone or to compromise with somebody because someone becomes very angry and envious Somebody here doesn't like the fact that there could potentially be other suitors that you find attractive or this could be you with somebody else or this karmic with this, this person or you. Take it as it resonates. Something is going to deplete by two. Okay. So a partnership could be at risk. To go in two different directions. Let's see here. I'm going to use my Moonology deck just to see what's going on. What is it that we need to know? Message. Okay, so a time to give rather than take. So I feel like somebody here could be a Virgo or a Cancerian. Somebody is using um, telepathic connections or empathy or something like that because they see that you're in this potent energy or time to manifest to bring about birthing new ideas um i keep hearing the word constriction constricted constricting this could be happening in the past or the present here this could be confirmation for the the information you're trying to fill in the gaps for somebody here wants you to give so that they could take it a time to give you're supposed to be giving and i feel like somebody's using this this energy to take away from something that would um better their situation but just know that you and your loved ones are safe be bold and make the first move okay meditate and contemplate So I'm dealing with high priest and high priestesses. It's time to take action here. It's time to move. This is way too many cards, Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have rare or rarely somebody rarely goes to the gym or goes to visit their um, fitness trainer or use the facility to work out. 
somebody may be like uninspired. There's a karmic that preys on the DM's weakness to keep this person bound spiritually through this dark portal. We have relationship going strong. Somebody's trying to keep this relationship alive, even if that means it's broken down, to keep this person bound spiritually. Take a break and spiritually cleanse. I'm telling you, your DNA is being copied or compared. Somebody's looking into you on a spiritual level. Somebody sees that there are certain cycles with the moon or um, in this time that there are um, certain days where you become this, this um, you're, you're close to spirit. That's all I could say here. And somebody's using that energy to um, catch levels or to level to catch up to you spiritually so that they can get close enough to copy your or compare your DNA. But it's like they're, they're doing it without leaving a trace or somebody feels like they're untouchable, untouchable, like nothing will happen to them if they do this. They need to watch out for spirit. OK, because he comes in all different forms. Somebody's just mad that they have to settle for less or they have to use a man or, or do things for him, them to keep this person in their life. Whereas somebody may feel like you are the witch because they're not the type of person to settle down or even show emotions. They just keep it pushing. We have a uh, greeting acquainted. So you're going to run into somebody that may be a body, a bodyguard or a bouncer or somebody that's, um, has a lot of strength or lifts weights. Somebody here can protect you or somebody was, um, assigned to, uh, come into your life to protect your legacy. There's something about a multi-million dollar investment or money that you will have full custody to mother. OK, so there is a um, an empress or somebody that's divine that carries a nurturing spirit or energy. I'm even getting queen of cups here. OK, somebody here is going to um, be experiencing a promotion of some sort or getting close to shadowing a boss or um, taking on more responsibility to help out a emperor or something like that. Or this is somebody that you might have children with. OK, and I feel like because he has a. Um, a high paying job, he's going to have to give you this money for whatever this is here. We have pets. Okay. Somebody has more than one pet or somebody is, um, there's something about your pets here. We have fingerprints. We have second cousins. Somebody's going to find out that, um, the person that they either haven't met or may have been um, hanging around or friends with is their second cousin or they're related. This is going to happen through DNA or somebody, um, trying to figure out what their family tree is like. We have G and hostage and ransom. So somebody's name could start with the letter G. I'm also getting the letter X here. G X could be significant. Okay. Has okay, somebody lied about their age and they understand that it was foolish to do this? Somebody here could be a cooker or in the kitchen. Okay, there's something about your kitchen. Somebody has something wired in your kitchen or you do a lot of work in your kitchen or somebody is using something to magnetize your um your financial information through data theft to gain financial leverage or extortion somebody's connected through your your internet your uh, modem your something here somebody knew about something before the truth came out and it's going to be exposed suspended license is also significant we have a murder case documentation, evidence. Somebody here may have been driving around a vehicle that was suspended, but that was because of a body that could have been in there. We have stroke and secret admirer or lover. Somebody here could be a, um, 
a older age of some sort. Hmm. Somebody here could be attracted to, you know, older people, more experienced. Let's see. What's the message? What is it that we need to know? Okay, so we have introvert in reverse. And we have, I'm telling you, look at this. Somebody wants you to sign off on them using you as a personal sacrifice that will not be faded or going in their favor. Okay. They can't bury you or do any um, dark rituals on you because it will go against God's law. Justice will be served. You will be okay. You will find um, a renewal in stability, harmony, etc. Okay, somebody wanted you to miss the mark to reach some sort of goal or to accomplish something because it would have brought good news on. They wanted you to be in a sense of bad luck for them to inherit what you were supposed to receive that they could profit from. Somebody here tried to use somebody that's a part of your camp or that um, you have loyalty for to uh, be a part of this team. The number is 66, 18, 65, 10, and 2, 22, sorry, could be significant. I'm seeing 666. It's time to refocus your energy. The people that you feel like you could trust, you can't trust, uh, Virgos, okay? This is somebody that's homeless and maybe losing their stability, so they feel like they have to mess with your root chakra for you to have some form of... Um, stability because you have some sort of gift. Somebody's trying to get you to hesitate or not um, have some sort of like um, move on your, your gifts or what you're supposed to receive. Okay. Somebody is going to literally be a puppet on a string, okay? Somebody's karma is being hung on a stage with a needle in the middle of their hands like a puppet on a string. Somebody's gonna be puppeteered, okay? This is a spiritual or physical jail for this person. I kept seeing this yesterday as I was doing readings on myself. Somebody's gonna be afraid of their own fate because it leads to spiritual jail or having to be a puppet on a string for the injustices that they caused you. What's the message? I keep hearing the word gladify, G-L-A-T-I-F-Y. I don't even know if that's a word. Or I'm hearing gluttony, success in love, grief and adversity. Number 15 and 32 could be significant. So somebody here is in grief and adversity because of the love that they have for you. Or somebody is sad because they know of the, the true desires or feelings that they have towards you or you towards them. And it's like they're realizing how happy they could be with you. Okay. Whoever this person is, they're a rich, good gentleman. In the middle of the deck, somebody is losing hope in themselves or in the ability to make you happy. Even though you make them happy, there is like the energy of, of this person being disconnected from themselves to make somebody else happy here. Somebody is bound or cannot escape someone or something. Somebody is looking to strengthen up by using the spiritual courts or a physical um, case that they could build against somebody that is not of high honor. But somebody is keeping this information from you 
Yep. Until they are able to visit or see you. I'm telling you, somebody's going to visit a lawyer. Somebody is visiting a lawyer and meeting with this lawyer to be able to receive a gift, to release themselves from this contract or whatever is bound to this connection, not with you, but with this karmic. Somebody's going to be surprised that whatever money is supposed to be um, gained from this, this lawsuit or this, this case in court, it's being held back. Somebody is purposely holding something back from an individual so that they won't build a change in their life. Okay. Somebody needs to grow up here. Okay. What's the message? Message for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know? We have a love triangle. Somebody is playing with fire. We also see that somebody thinks what others are doing is beneath them and that they are better, but they're hypocritical. Somebody is wasting your time being dishonest with the truth because they're double dipping, sleeping with more than one person. OK, and they throw their weight around just to intimidate you because they know that they're guilty of this love triangle that they're putting you a part of. Yeah. OK. So it doesn't matter whether there's a person that you just met and you're dating this person or somebody that you've already encountered when it comes to love. Be mindful of this person and their, their intentions. Because somebody has you a part of some sort of love triangle. Okay. But Spirit is saying that it's time to celebrate. There's some sort of celebration of you um, being able to look past a karmic love cycle with somebody. Anyway, I'm going to pull one more uh, Oracle deck and then I'm going to sign out of this read. What's the message here? What is it that we need to know currently in love for Virgo? Okay, so overall, I do see here that somebody is not in a relationship. Somebody is going to become single or available because somebody realized their worth that they may have had to make a decision to close out the dynamic between you and somebody or them and someone. Somebody is on the verge to offer some sort of proposal or commitment to you or you to them. And I feel like this person has been thinking about this for a very long time. I don't feel like this person has applied their ancestors and guides to the situation. They're trying to handle it themselves because I feel like somebody's realizing that um, they should have kept you around or somebody here should have never purged um, this relationship between you and them here somebody wants to keep you close to them yeah because they're, they're stuck in the past and they've had enough time to think on their own or to reflect on the enlightenment that they're gaining, that they're not happy right now. Or there were things that might have not made them happy in the recent past with you that they should have um, just allowed to roll off the, their back. Okay. Cause they worked all this way and, you know, built some sort of connection with you that they should have been more of a team player. Somebody was selfish. Okay. And they had a, um, an unrealistic goal or perception of what, true love or relationship meant to them but they now see because they're coming in with this romantic charming energy here but i feel like you could have your guard up this person may have made you feel low or there were some parts of you that you feel like you can't get back 
but I feel like you're working on what you are able to use the resources of spirit for, okay? I feel like you have become more self-critical when it came to this connection that you have with this person because you met them on a, on a deeper level, okay? But I feel like you allowed this person to cripple um, you being strong or, or standing your ground, okay? I feel like somebody could be missing the opportunity to be with somebody that they are truly meant to be with because you're walking away just to be distracted by this person, okay? For some of you, this could be a Virgo or Libra or somebody is trying to distract you from their side so that y'all won't be together. Somebody wants you to walk away from this connection here. But somebody can't help but want to be in this Ten of Pentacles energy with you. Somebody wants to be a complete family or to um, collaborate together. Whoever this person is, they could be a Scorpio Sagittarius. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.